Hello students, today I am going to discuss modified exponential curves and method of partial sums with method of three selected points. So modified exponential curve, suppose the time series values at time t is yt. The modified exponential curve is defined as yt is equal to k plus ab power t. Students remember this formula yt is equal to k plus ab power t. k, a and b are pa parameters of the curve. So here students, first we, we will take the order of uh, forward differencing. Right? Like uh, if it is t, after that it will be t plus h and before that it will be t minus h. So uh, see here, if, it, if we are taking delta t, it will be t plus h minus t forward uh, differencing so the formula is y is equal to k plus ab power t no students so yt we are writing k, k plus ab power t then by t plus h we are writing this k plus ab power th then k and k gets cancelled and you will be left with ab uh, ab power t into b power h minus 1 now students similarly we can get the value of uh, delta delta y t minus h you will get the answer as a b power a b power a b power t minus h in place of t here you had y t you have written t here you are having y t minus h delta y t minus h you are writing t minus h above the same everything is same here now if it if you divide delta y t by delta y t h you will be having b b power h just to get ca simple calculation students now, now this was the modified exponential curve now there are two methods in this the first method is method of three selected points for this students let y1 y2 y3 be the ordinate values corresponding to three equidistant values y t1 t2 t3 t. then we will write t2 3 minus 3 t2 is equal to t2 minus t1 remember this t3 and t1 students here remember this line now students we will write y is equal to k plus ab power t and if it is y1 k plus ab power t1 if it is y2 k plus ab power t2 like this we will write students if we do y2 minus y1 we will get ab after simplification we will get this value then if we are doing y3 minus y2 just cancel this kk and ab power t2 a common keep it common you will be getting this answer now students if you divide y3 minus y2 by y2 minus y1 you will get b this a a will get cancelled as t3 minus t2 and t2 minus t1 is equal to, um, are equal in the first um, first line only i explained this method of here my method of three t, 2 minus 3. So this part same notes. That's why we are cancelling this part and this part also. We will be left with T2 and T1. B T power T2 and T1. So here Y3 minus Y2 we are doing. No? That's why we are getting this answer. Now students we got. Suppose we are putting this B, B here. If we take this T2 minus T1 to the left. Uh, to the other side of equal to we will get 1 by t2 minus t1 that's it now students if we if we substitute uh, in y2 minus y1 why what is y2 minus y1 students this one no this one i have written here the answer y2 minus y1 is nothing but this one so if we substitute the b value here we will get a into b power t1 no so that's why t1 by this value this value above which we are having then b power t2 minus t1 by t2 minus t1 this t2 minus t1 the both will be cancelled you will be having only b value written here minus 1 so students only this value so students after getting this answer we, what we what we will do we will multiply this y2 minus y1 with this one and we will take this y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 common 
it when we keep it make it common just cross multiply to this side it will be a square now what we are doing this square not what we are doing we are keeping this a here and getting all these values to this side so we will get this answer see this on this answer okay the, uh, this y3 minus y2 will be reciprocal because it is multiplied by you know that's why when it comes to the other side it will become reciprocal so all this will will get reciprocal here and you will get this value then students you have a value here and b value here you which we have just now evaluated i have written here now see students we know the value of k what is k k is equal to y1 minus b a a b power t means uh, what is y1 y1 is equal to a a plus b power t no just we are getting k here and y1 minus a b power t now students you can put the val now you can put the a and b value here you will get here y1 you are just writing when you write here a b power t it will be a is what this one y2 minus y1 this value and b b is this one right so what you are doing students you are having t1 by t2 1 by t2 minus t1 no so when you simplify it you will get uh, some cal cancel you will do some calculate cancellations here because it is b power t just put here in place of this you can put here b power t t1 because when you multiply this a with b power t1 here you are putting t1 so you have this you can cancel this value and this value you will only be left with this value which you have written here now students after writing that what you will do you will just cross multiply this with this you will get y3 my y3 y1 by 3 minus 2 y1 by 2 all this value then what you will do you will uh, after cancellation of this y1 this and this it will um, 1 minus 2 or because here it is minus you will get all this values as you will get all these values here this and this will get cancelled because minus into minus it is plus here it is minus you are having y1 y3 you are writing it here then y2 square you are having you are writing it here here y1 square and because here it is minus no after when we open the bracket it will be minus here so now my plus and minus will get cancelled you will be left with this value here and the above value here then students after that you will you this is what you got for um, method of pre selected points now you are doing method of partial sums in method of partial sums you are having t is equal to 1 to 3 so on till n then another another value as t is equal to n plus 1 n plus 2 so on till 2n then another value for t is 2n plus 1 so on till 3n you got now students you will write first one let s1 is equal to summation of t is equal to 1 to n by t then s2 is equal to t is equal to n plus 1 this n plus 1 to 2n then 2n plus 1 to n s1 s2 s3 you are writing for first time you will take s1 value here what is yt yt is equal to k plus ab power t this is the um, formula for mo modified exponential curve no? now what you will do you will put summation uh, summation to this it will you will be having k as nk then a just like that then for uh, for t what you are doing t is equal to 1 2 3 so on till n you will put no 1 2 3 so on till n now if we if you keep this b common it will be 1 plus b plus so on till b power n minus 1 so b this the formula for this uh, 1 plus b is nothing but 1 plus b plus so on is nothing but this one so you are uh, you are just writing this because you made it common no that's why you got a a b here then this answer of this formula 
you got this value for s1 right now students for s2 also just in place of b you you can put power you had nothing here now you can put here see students just for your understanding purpose if if you are writing b means power 1 Again, power n plus one, then two n plus one. In in place of power power, you can write for s two n plus one power for s three. You can write two n plus one. Now, students, you can make s one s two minus s one. Just subtract this two. You will get the answer like this. Then after subtracting uh, simplification, you will get a b into this one. just cancel this get get b outside you will you can uh, you can square this just put it square make b common now students for s2 minus s1 you got again for s s3 minus s2 also you can get it from here and get the answer here just put the put the b b power n plus 1 common and get the answer now for for this after getting this s3 minus s2 divided by s2 minus s1 you will get it as b power n what is b students b is equal to this value s3 minus s2 this value is 1 by n now you have the answer for s2 minus s1 as this one now you can put here S two minus S one in in this place. Then B power n is there. No students, you have the answer for B power n here. No, so you can put here in place of uh, A B by this A B by B power B minus one. You are just putting. Then in place of B power n, you are putting this answer, which is this one B value. Then this minus one. You already had this A B and B minus one. This value whole square. Then students, the square is there. No, the square you are writing here. Just cross multiply this. You will get the answer as this one, this line. And after simplification, you will get a value as this one and b value. You have this one. Then students, you can put the k value. What is k? K is equal to See here s one. What is s one here? S one is equal to this one. No, just put this k to this side. You will get. You can put this n to as one by n and get this value this side. It will be minus of that particular value. So now you are putting the same to the students one by n s one minus of that particular value I told. Then after simplification, students a and b value you put. Put here a a b value here. So here you have this values no a and b value a and b value you are having. So you can just substitute to to this a value if you are substituting here. You can cancel this b and this b gets cancelled. See here this b and this b will get cancelled and this b minus one and b minus one will get cancelled. You are having this value, right? So you can put this b minus one value and this a value. What is a value here? You you are having you are left with this value, right? You are, you are having this a value with s one. Now just cross multiply this and put the b power n value here and cross multiply with minus one. You will get this value. Then this and it will be squared uh, here. It will be cancelled and you will get the Value of k as this one, student. You got a value here and b value here. Thank you for listening to my lecture. This is the uh, final answer, students.